one of the two men I will be interviewing next will have the chance to etch their name in history next to Hands of Stone Ronnie Garvin, the last NWA Mid-Atlantic Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Chance Prophet, is this your night to make history? Jonathan Styles, all I do is make history. Tonight in Beckley for NWA Mid-Atlantic, that belt hanging above the ring, come hell or high water, come Lance Erickson or anybody else that decides to step in my way, it's coming home around my waist high. contenders in the National Wrestling Alliance, the Canadian Lion Lance. Jonathan, will you please shut up? These people have had to listen to you all night long, and even worse, they have had to look at you all night long. So please, shut up, hold the microphone like a good little boy, and let me talk. Is that okay with you? Yes, sir. All right. Now, I am rich quick, and unless you've been living under a rock, you know exactly who this man is. And well, come to think of it, since most of you Jethro's waste half your life in a coal mine, you probably have been under a rock. So, i uh, let me introduce you to the next NWA Mid-Atlantic champion, the Canadian Lion, Lance Erickson. You see, I've been traveling all over the United States, defending and doing things that need to be done. Chance Prophet, tonight, you find out exactly why the Canadian Lion is number two in the world and why I own West Virginia Wrestling and why I will be the new Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champ. <laughs> This contest is our main event of the evening, and it is a no count out, no disqualification ladder match for the vacated NWA Mid-Atlantic Championship. First, from Point Pleasant, West Virginia, weighing 235 pounds, Chance Profit. And his opponent, accompanied to the ring by Rich Quick from New Brunswick, Canada, weighing 255 pounds, the Canadian Lion, Lance Erickson. Also in attendance this evening, please welcome to observe this match, former AWA World Champion Brian Logan. Jonathan's. All right, Jonathan, this thing's about to get underway. 
and I tell you what, Steve, what a historic, historic match. No man has held that NWA Mid-Atlantic Championship since Hands of Stone, Ronnie Garvin. I mean, look, look how much lineage there is with this championship and look whose name you get to be next if you are able to climb that ladder and get that championship title down. Well, Ronnie Garvin, definitely a flag bearer, a standard of the professional wrestling sport. And the two men in the ring, consummate professionals of the modern day. Both men would like the privilege to be the man who holds the title, who reignites the legacy of Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. Uh, absolutely, and not even that, but here's the thing. For Chance, it might be more about not so much winning the championship as it is beating Lance Erickson because right now, as of this broadcast, Lance Erickson number number two or number three by the National Wrestling Alliance and Chance Prophet number seven. Well, Lance Erickson, he's been very busy the last year making a name for himself. I remember when it was his goal to crack into the top ten, and once he cracked in, he never let go of that foothold. He climbed step by step by step up that ladder. Number two, that's quite a distinction from when he wasn't there over over a little over a year ago, it wasn't even on the list. Now, number two. Right. And foothold by foothold, all the way there, similar to this ladder match, almost a metaphor, foot by foot up the ladder to the title. That's the way to win this thing. Right, and the thing is, I mean, the man is also, like you were talking about traveled. I mean, you got NWA Houston, he was a parade of champions. NWA Saw out of te Tennessee. I mean, he's gone to North Carolina. And now Colorado time to start this match. Well, let's not gloss over Chance Prophet's accomplishment. A multiple-time former NWA National Heavyweight Champion in his own right. And that is an accomplishment that stands the test of time by itself. Oh, absolutely. He's looking to add to his legacy. Absolutely. And winning the NWA Bahamas Championship as well. Chance Prophet is also well-traveled. I'm not going to take anything away from him. I mean, this is what you would call a five-star match on paper even before the competitors step in the ring. Absolutely right about that. And you factor in what we've got on the line tonight, the NWA Mid-Atlantic title. It just gets that much more prestigious. And you got to think, when will this ladder come into play? Not side headlock apply. Well, not right now. Right now, it's all about groundwork. Erickson with the side headlock. Profit pushing him off the ropes. Erickson over Profit. Profit with a hip toss on Erickson, getting that big girthy frame of Erickson up and over, and now unloading on him. And Chance Profit on fire, not letting up for an instance. That's exactly what you got to do because you know the Canadian line. You give him an opening. You talk about explosive, raw, explosive power. That's the definition of his ability in that ring. He is raw, he is explosive, he is rugged. And you see right there, one moment, that's all he needed. He unloaded, and that was furious. Uh, absolutely, Steve, I couldn't agree with you more. The power of Lance Erickson to knock Chance Prophet off of his game just that quickly, like the blink of an eyelash. And Erickson telling the fans that's why I'm going to be the champion. Profit though, while well, Erickson takes the time to talk to the fans, firing back on Erickson. Erickson, Erickson, he cannot blink for a moment. He can't take a moment for granted in this thing. Profit's not doing that. That kick to the back of the head. There is no pinfall in this match. That's instinct right there. And that's unfortunate for Profit because that's a moment wasted. Well, I don't know if it's so much a moment wasted as Chance Profit knowing where he is and not just applying those kicks right to the chest and throat of Lance Erickson. Well, let me ask you a, a question here, Seth. Whoa! Nice. Nice shinning wizard by Chance Prophet. Let uh, me ask you a question here while we have a moment to talk about before this action picks up again. Who do you think is going to win this one? Well, I tell you what, I, I got to give the edge to Chance Prophet. This is, this is his type of match. This is unorthodox. This is crazy. This is just going on purely instinctual. So you're saying this is in the dark child's forte. Exactly. So to speak. I'm going to go with Erickson. I'm going to go with Erickson. Lots of explosive power. Let's not forget on the outside of the ring, the man looking after his interest, Rich Quick. That's an X factor. And it does say something that Rich Quick can be out there because of the big, fa because of the big thing of the no disqualification in a ladder match. 
And both men now to the outside. Erickson turning the corner now. He needs to stop Charles Jackson with that fan. Chance Profit lays in that corner there. Erickson follows right into him. Stiff fist to the face of Profit. He's bringing the ladder to the outside now. And you had to think at some point the ladder was going to be used as a weapon. Well, you're absolutely right about that beyond a shadow of a stinking doubt, Jonathan Styles. Of course it's going to be used as a weapon. Everything in this match goes. Erickson appears to have hurt himself just now, though. Yeah, but ramming the ring post and snapping your own fingers there. Unfortunate for Erickson. Very fortunate for the Dark Child, though. Chance Profit. You can almost hear that kick all the way over here reverberating off the chest of Erickson. You can definitely hear a scream of pain. Oh, absolutely, especially from Erickson because, I mean, you and I have seen on more than one occasion, Stephen, opponents work on Lance Erickson's rib, including NWA national champion, Mr. Mid-Atlantic, Damian Wayne. You're right. Let's not forget, last year around this very same time, he injured those ribs in a match against DW. And, uh, and when you have a rib injury, it doesn't ever heal 100% completely. Well, look at the way Erickson's holding himself. You know it isn't healed 100% completely. And if it was anywhere close to feeling healed, it's not now, even if he is on the advantage. But don't yeah. think that's going to detract from Erickson's determination in this match. And Erickson using the steel chair now to slow down Chance Profit. The intensity of Lance Erickson. That's the word for him, intensity. That's been the defining word for Erickson for so very long in his career. Well, the other word I got to think of when I think of Erickson to give him credit is passion. This man eats, sleeps, and breathes this business. So does everybody who finds himself in this position. Chance Prophet has lived and breathed it for years himself. They're going to pull out all the stuffs. They're going to pull out still chairs. And Rich They're going to pull the ladder. They're going to use the ladder for a weapon. They're going to jump off it. These guys are going to do everything short of kill each other in their attempt to win this title tonight. Well, you can't blame them. I mean, look what's on the line. You get to be the first man to be the NWA Mid-Atlantic Champion, the first person to hold that title since Ronnie Garvin and put you in the pages of history, and they can never take that away from you. And, you know, we've said that a million times already this evening, but you really can't understate what an honor it is for anyone to hold that title before anybody else. Absolutely not. And, and here's the thing, you got to think with the momentum coming from this championship win, one of these two men will probably be meeting Mr. Mid-Atlantic, Damian Wayne, the national champion, somewhere down the line. I mean, this puts you Valid point. in the top contention of the national championship or even the world championship now held by Mr. Rob Conway. And Chance Prophet looks like he's ready to go for it. This could be all she wrote. Boy, that is a brand spanking new ladder, too. It's got the tags on it and everything. I think somebody's going to try to return it after this match, but I, I highly doubt it will be returnable by the time these two are finished with it. Yeah, right. That thing's going to be in one piece after this thing. I see that happening. Yeah. No kidding, Steven. Erickson staying on top of Profit. Profit down the mat. Erickson now in a prime position to scale that ladder if he wants to. But he's choosing instead to put the hurting on Chance Profit. Can't really blame him for that. You don't want to go up that ladder too early. You get to the top of that ladder and your opponent's ready. He can shove you right down with it. Absolutely right. And let's let's think about this. How far up is that? 10 feet probably? If I go, 10 feet? 15 feet, 15, 20 feet in the air. Well, regardless of the fact, that's a you add on top of that your own height, your own weight, you fall down. Energy equals mass times acceleration hitting that mat. It doesn't end pretty. No, it does not. Gravity is a cruel opponent for any man. And Lance Erickson working on the back of Chance Profit. And if, if I'm in the head of Lance Erickson, I'm thinking he's going to do something to get Chance Profit nice back right into the ladder. Oh, my God. Holy mother of Moses. That was horrible. Northern Lights suplex into the ladder. Chance Profit left lane in a heap after that one. It looks like a car wreck out there. Chance Profit in some serious pain. Erickson sensing that pain, not letting up for one single moment. Standing atop the throat of Profit. You got to think the way Profit hit that ladder and then fell back down, he fell right on top of his head, Jonathan. That neck can't be feeling good. Not at all. No, definitely not. Lance Erickson going to try. 
Wait a minute, what's he doing here? Well, he's going to use that ladder he's got on top of Chance. It's laying across his chest and his ribs now. Erickson standing on top of it, maybe wanting Chance to feel some of the pain he feels himself prior earlier in this contest and probably still feels level that playing field. Erickson sets the ladder in the corner. Is he gonna, I wonder if he's going to go for it again. Well, Erickson going after Profit. Profit trying to stop him, but Erickson still on top of this one. Cutting short, Profit's attempt to change the momentum into a reversal on the oh, Irish whip. That's what Profit needed right there, Steve, to reverse that Irish whip. That's why he needed to create the opening. Now he's got to capitalize. And can Profit capitalize? Or is he injured to the point where it doesn't matter what he does, Erickson's going to get a chance to regain that momentum? Well, Jonathan, before this first thing's injured, over, injured or not coming into this thing, before this is over, they're both going to be hurt. Oh, absolutely. No man walks away unscathed in a ladder match. Chance Profit now like pushing the ladder down. Well, Chance Profit making room for himself on the top rope here. Erickson slow to get to his feet, but he dives at the ropes. Uh-oh, hitting him in the unhappy spot. And Profit got crouched in the most unfriendly of manners up there. Erickson levels him with that fist. Chance Profit. Hanging on Dave. by a thread on that top rope. He's leaning backwards there. If Erickson pushes him over, he falls to the outside. It, 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 it's beyond a huge problem for Profit. That's Concussion City. This one could be over if he gets shoved off that top position there. Absolutely. And Erickson trying to fight. as Profit working to fight for his life out there. And fight he'll have to the course of this entire match. Fight both of these men will have to. Erickson up top. He's got him hooked. We can see a superplex. I, Erickson's got him measured and yes, superplex. Nails it. Holy moly. Erickson nailed the superplex. Now he's got to get back to his feet. Profit, he's the worst for wear at the end of that one, but Erickson has to make it. Wait a second, Jonathan. Rich oh. Quick having the words with the fans. I thought it was going to get a little personal for a second there. And Chance Profit and Erickson both left laying in the ring right now. It just looks like total carnage out there in what we're seeing. And Erickson finally getting back up to his feet. And great axe handle to the small of the back of Chance Profit. Chance firing back though. Both men going tit for tat on this one. Going back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. Profit fighting punches and kicks. And yes, he finally regains the momentum in this matchup. And follows up with a rapid succession of kicks. Comes off the ropes, nails Erickson. But Profit still very slow to follow up. Profit signaling, almost like calling a shot in baseball. Well, he's gotta do something with Erickson before he makes that climb. Mule kick to the gut, follows it up with a kick. Great headbutt, coming off the ropes and Erickson sends him off the other side, nails him with the clothesline, darn near beheads the man. I think Erickson just did that move out of instinct, ladies and gentlemen. Erickson and Profit, they're both laying flat on the mat right now. And, and Jonathan when, Stiles. Wait a minute, I thought I saw Jonathan something Stiles, on this. Do you I, see this? Yeah, I saw. I thought I saw something on the Epling Tron The Black 5, Superman. What in the world is Onyx doing out here? Onyx is in this match. But it is no disqualification, so. Pine Buster by Erickson in the ring. Onyx looking on, he's caught the attention of Erickson. Erickson glancing an eye at him, but he's not gonna let up on profit. Not yet. And what is Onyx thinking? Is he gonna get physically involved in this matchup? Well, at the very least, he's out here to scout this one. Erickson may be making the mistake of a lifetime here signaling to Onyx. He's telling him to come in the ring to come after him. Onyx, he's not shy about this. He's going to pick this spot. And Eric's, and wait a minute, Erickson. Erickson and Onyx, the two big men are going to trade blows in there. And, I, and th here's the problem. Erickson may think he's be doing the good thing, but he's giving Profit a lot of time to rest by fighting Onyx right now. Well, this is definitely not something we expected. But Onyx, he's the kind of guy when he wants something to happen, he's going to make it happen. And speaking of a guy who wants something to happen earlier, here's Sherman Tank. 
And Sherman Tank, that Sherman Tank coming right after the Black Superman Onyx. And Sherman Tank, no man to back down from a fight. Well, Sherman Tank's and Onyx, they're now going at it. Erickson, he doesn't know what the hell's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. We've got Bedlam in the ring right now. Onyx returning his attention to Erickson. That's a mistake. Sherman Tank runs after him. Erickson gets nailed in the process. Erickson going to the outside now. Which quick loser not even in the match? Which quick losing is mine? Well, of course he is. This guy's primed in a position to win this thing. Chance Prophet, how long has he been on the outside of the ring? Two what? minutes now? Three minutes, five minutes. And, and that's the thing I'm talking about, Steve. I mean, it's really irrelevant because as good a position as Erickson was in, Onyx cost him. Onyx has cost him dearly. Sherman Tank has cost him dearly. And both men decided they've had enough of Rich Quick's nonsense. Well, Rich Quick's telling them what they need to hear right now. They're not involved. What the heck is that? I, I would cause some pain to Rich Quick, because that's what I would call it. And now we're back to the back and forth fighting of the Black Superman and Sherman Tank here. Well, Onyx reversing Sherman Tank's attempt. Runs right after him. Nails the referee. The referee's out of this thing. Rich Quick's down. Lance Erickson's down, Chance Prophet's down, everyone involved in the match from the manager to the wrestlers is down. And now it's two guys who have a problem with each other. Sherman Tank, he gets planted with a spine buster. And look at the, I mean, the power of Onyx to pick up a man like Sherman Tank like that. And it's just absolute carnage on the outside. I mean, Erickson hasn't moved, Prophet hasn't moved, Rich Quick now on the outside. And we still do not know, why is Erickson Excuse me, Onyx out here. Wait a minute, what the? Well, Jonathan Styles, Onyx is calling his shot right now. Onyx, he, it's obvious to me now, he felt overlooked not being involved in this match. Wait, as can far he do this? Are you going to stop him? Is the ref going? Nobody's even awake out there to stop him. He's going to do pretty much whatever he wants. I, I don't understand. I mean, how is he going to? He wasn't even scheduled to be in this match. You want to know how he does it? He takes out everyone else involved. I gotta get a word from the referee. I mean, what is this? Well, this is obviously not legal. His name's nowhere on a contract, and the but he has the title. Possession's nine tenths. Well, wait a minute. The but here's the thing: the referee is not even conscious. Well, you go tell Onyx there's a thing. I you go tell anybody out there there's a thing. They're not gonna hear you right now. Every man's slow to get up to his feet. Onyx standing tall in the ring with that title belt. Wait a minute. Can he do that? I mean. I, I, know, I know some things have changed in the National Wrestling Alliance, but... Well, Onyx, he's called his shot. He took the belt. He's going to walk out with it, evidently.